Alright guys, Christian over at Enfit Carstero. We just installed the uh, Denshin uh, GW P1 AC1 uh, in a 2007 S4 wagon. Uh, crowd favorite. Everyone who buys this car. You know, enthusiast car, so I guess better way to say it. So, uh, this unit has an aux input. The aux input, you have to buy the external box. Um, I recommend everyone buys the external box because... Um, it gives you a, a status light to let you know what's going on. Also a bypass and a USB. Uh, this unit also is plays the iPhone through the USB. So if you have an iPhone 5 or whatnot, you can hook it up. Um, currently, I'm having issues on Software 47. Some people say it's okay. Some people say it's not. Um, I also have some people say that if they have issues, reset it. But no matter what, if you buy this unit, it works perfect through... Um, through the um, iPod cable. So if you get the iPod cable and the iPhone converter, it'll work perfect, all right? So now I'm gonna show you real quick, when you go into here, you're gonna, uh, the, your source selection is Bluetooth audio, iPod UI, iPod GW. So you're gonna go Bluetooth audio, all right? So that's gonna be wireless Bluetooth, all right? So we're gonna be able to watch, all right? You go over here, and we're gonna hit track up, and the signal control, and you'll see it goes through the songs, all right? And then it also goes through here, all right? You can also use this for your Pandora, which is awesome. All right, so you see? And you'll see the song will come up, which is dope. You go down, it'll go up, and you can also do song up from here. All right? Now, when you go click in, it'll take you to the menu. So now you have all your selections in here. There's no, uh, there's no selection from here, so you hit... Uh, uh, let's say you want to go into the auxiliary, you go into the auxiliary, okay? So now what I'm doing is I'm going to plug in the iPhone. When you have wireless, you just, you, you get, um, when you have wireless, uh, you get nothing but track up and track down. But if I go to plug in the iPod, I don't know if I said it before, but this is software 47, all right? Uh, when you plug in the iPod, that's the, uh, that's still Pandora, but it's not going to work through the iPod. As soon as you select it, it'll switch over to the iPod. All right, so actually, you know what? It's going to confuse it. So what you do is you do select iPod first and then plug it in. All right. So there you go. Now when you tap it, you get source, music, play all. Play all plays all the songs on your iPod. Album play plays all the songs on the album that's playing. We'll go over settings later. So now you can go into your music, uh, playlist, artists, Albums, songs, genres, composers, audiobooks, podcasts. Uh, you can go, so if you go playlist, you can go to, these are all my playlists. Do Find No Outlaw and Rich One Day. All right. Now, when you go back into the menu, it's going to be where you left off. Um, it resets after a minute or two. You're going to hold back. All right now, hold back. It takes you backwards. So now we're in music again. You can do artists. All right. Now, if you go into ABC search, um, I don't have too many artists, so it groups them by letters of three. So I'm going to go back, and then you're going to see albums, songs, genres, composers, audiobooks. So let's go into songs. All right, so if I want to do songs, I can go individual, like, or you can do ABC search and look. O, and then you start from O. All right? Beautiful is that. So I'm going to go back in here. All right, now while you do this, this is iPod GW. Uh, the, the screen on the iPod will be locked for iPod, so you can't control your music from the uh, car. I mean from the uh, iPod. Now it also has a different, if you go into your source, you have a different mode called um, iPod UI. iPod UI means you get full control from the iPod, all right? But then the only controls you get from the radio are track up and track down. You don't get the full menu, all right? Now I had a USB stick, yes. Still have it in my pocket, good. Oh no, that was my lighter. There it is, there's my USB stick. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug in the USB stick. It should automatically um, switch over. Whatever the last source you plug in automatically switches over. All right, so there you go. Now when you go into, oh, what did I do? Sorry guys, I don't drive this car every day, so I get a little confused. USB, there it is. Alright. What did I just do? Oh. When you go into the source, now just like the other one, 
You know how they had music? This one just starts you right here. So you go to files, your artists, your albums, your songs. And you could also do bookmarks. I'm, I'm not sure how that works. You got your play all. So let's say if I want to go to files, um, I have DJ Clues a folder. Find a while off. Well, let it scroll because for some of you guys that are a little older, DJ Clue, Springtime, Stick Up 96, one of the best mixtapes ever. I have that actually. Customer actually says he has it. How great is that? Uh, Find a while off is another folder. And then. Uh, the arrow means you're going in, and then these are the songs that are in the flash drive, right? So you do Final Outlaw, and then it starts, and those are all the songs that are on there, okay? You guys that use uh, USBs know, know how that works. Um, now, I covered all the music stuff. Yeah, I think I covered everything. I covered iPod, Auxiliary. That's a source. USB I covered, GW aux I covered. Bluetooth audio, iPod, GW, okay, yeah, that's the audio side of it, okay? Now, if you have factory Bluetooth, um, you can upgrade, you can disconnect your factory Bluetooth by um, by pulling out the fuse. Uh, I think the Sirius radio is on the same fuse, uh, so if you pull, if you're not, if you're using Sirius, you can't do it as simple. Um, and we just got in uh, factory fit microphones. What, what that means is that you can actually plug in the microphone in the stock location so you get you know OEM sound and plug it into the dention okay this car didn't have Bluetooth we don't have to do any of that um, if you don't if you do have factory Bluetooth and you're listening to your series the tuner is under the driver's seat kind of like under the steering wheel not really it's a little bit in front of the seat um, you know hopefully eventually we'll have a video on how to take it out I don't all right so now I'm gonna hit mode button this goes between the dention music side and the dention Bluetooth side Bluetooth for calls um, so I'm gonna go into here, all right? You go into your phone book, received, missed, dialed, or you can also disconnect in your settings. So I'm gonna go into my phone book. All right, you're gonna go ABC search, E for NFIG. All right, now you see how this little arrow? It means you go in. Those are all the NFIG numbers. That's the main number. Uh, that's, our, that's our primary incoming, whatever, outgoing. And then that's the uh, business cell phone. So if I wanted to select this, I select that. It says calling. All right. Now, if you want to, if you tap it, it hangs up. Okay. And then you can also go into your phone book. You receive, you missed, your dial. I'm not going to go into that for obvious reasons. Last thing I want to do is have to pixelate something because, all right. So if you go into your settings now, uh, you have volume, so you can adjust the iPod volume, the USB volume, the auxiliary volume, the Bluetooth volume, the phone volume, and the microphone volume, all right? Uh, we got that. Now, you can also do your language. Right now, it's English and Deutsch, or whatever that is. Yeah, it's German. German. Is that German? Yeah, Deutsch. That's all right, Deutsch I don't know. That's what I figured. All right, so we got phone book. You can do all your phone book, just your SIM memory, just your phone memory, or for... You people who don't like anyone knowing who's calling, you can disable your phone book. Uh, you can also do your phone book directory, first name first or last name first, however you want. Um, uh, paired phones and Bluetooth audio. Some of you guys may not want the music. Somebody's finding it annoying. I don't know how. Um, and about about your software. Um, it'll scroll over. You know what? It doesn't scroll over. I'll tell you what. When you first turn on the car, it scrolls. If you go right to it, but if you do it like every time I do it in a video, it doesn't scroll. Um, and that's your serial number. I oh, know that's your serial number. All right. Um, I think that's it. I think I covered everything. Yeah, like I said, Dention GW P1 AC1. Uh, there's also a P1 AC2 for different type of radios. Um, like I said, the unit, the software 47. Um, I don't have too much experience with the iPhone 5 with software 47, but I know. Uh, I had issues with with other versions, so you know, just just check the website for the latest details. You know where this to me is an acceptable unit to sell. So it comes with the iPod cable, the uh, extra box is sold separately. Um, but like I said, um, this is the best unit available for these cars. So video is brought to you by nfitcarstereo.com. We sell and install. Oh, if you guys have factory satellite radio, um, this unit will disable it. We manufacture a part. That allows you to keep it. We also have the microphone. It's an additional microphone charge uh, that fits in the factory location. Um, the, the radio we didn't show you because it doesn't really show anything. The radio has nothing to do. 
Um, it replaces your Glowbox CD changer or Glowbox iPod adapter if you have it, but all the controls are done through here. Um, the radio has insignificant numbers. The switcher box you can see on the website. I'm trying to wrap it up, but uh, I think we're good. Nfitcarstereo.com. We ship worldwide. We sell and install. We also do dealer accounts. So if you're a shop, you can buy from us at wholesale pricing, and obviously you get our tech support, which is important. Uh, that's it. My name is Christian. Nfitcarstereo. Thank you for watching.